Hi, I'm Ayman, and welcome back to another of my gardening videos where I showcase the exotic herbs, plants, and vegetables in my mom's garden. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the loofah, or in Malay, the patola. When you hear the word loofah, you in everyday use, you're probably thinking of the thing that you used to scrub your back all the time. Uh, some people do. Um, and that actually comes from this. Um, when these mature, when they ripen, um, the inside of them, they become spongy, and people use those as, like, back, uh, uh, body scrubs, or sometimes even washing dishes, um, uh, before came modern technology. Tolas, they come from a family of cucumbers. Uh, speaking of culinary uses, um, my mom uses them a lot, um, however, she doesn't use ones that are mature, uh, just like many of the vegetables in our garden. Uh, you have to use ones that are a bit young, like right here. And pertaining to mature ones, they're actually bigger. Uh, uh, there are these patolas that are like as tall as me. They're like four feet long, and it was like from my heart to the end of my hand. That's pretty long. And uh, it was we've grown a lot of them over the years. Um, pertaining to its gardening, uh, really, it's like, uh, those, um, so I remember the name, it, those are per years, uh, and the growing process is similar to this. So, basically, you buy the seeds online, and then you plant them, and the first year is really just to let it assimilate to the soil to accumulate seeds, and then the next year, when it's all familiar with the soil, then you can uh, harvest the seeds from like one plant, one vegetable, and then plant more because they've already uh, grown accustomed to the soil. So then there's going to be more growing and growing as time goes on. So just like the prayer, you grow them in early June or July, um, around summer, uh, and it starts to like multiply. There's like a ton of them here, here, here here, over here, up there, and and it requires a lot of sun and a lot of watering, and it's pretty easy to do that when you're on a fence or a trellis like this, because it gets sun from all directions because it comes from the east and the west. So I've actually eaten this before, it's actually really really good. Uh, I suggest you try it if you have the opportunity. Uh, unlike the Pereer, which is actually nicknamed the Bitter Melon, so <laughs> it's supposed to be bitter, which I don't like. Um, but there are a lot of benefits to it, like nutritious and medicinal benefits, but I'm not going to read that since it's getting uh, dark uh, and I have to go back into the house. Uh, so this is the end of the video. I'm Ayman, thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on Iron Ayman, especially the gardening videos in which I showcase the exotic herbs, uh, vegetables, and plants that my uh, mom gardens in her garden. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm Gardener Iman signing out. Peace. Mm.